Okay, this is week one on the floor. We're gonna start with a jumping complex. We're gonna start hands on their hips. Nice tight legs, ribs and bellies in, butt cheeks tucked under. Straight leg punching down the floor. Go ahead. Line your kids up and do this as a complex. At the end, she'll stick and finish. Good, then they'll turn around. Obviously, they'll use the whole floor. Hands on hips, straight jump, tuck jump, straight jump, tuck jump. Pointing those toes, moving forward. Good, stick and finish. Good, turn around. Okay, the next thing will be split jumps. This will be a little bit more difficult for some people. Um, I would do just their dominant leg, not both legs. So hands on hips, and we'll go straight jump, split jump. Good. Stick. And <laughs> finish. Good, she turns around. And then we go straight jump, straddle jump. Hands on hips. Good. Very nice. Stick. And finish. Good. And sit here again. And you can make some combinations. So she can go straight jump, tuck jump, straddle jump. Go ahead, try that. Straight, tuck, straddle. Then go again, connect them all. Good. You can make your own combinations. You can let the kids make up their own combinations, and you can show the group each combination. Um, then this week is focusing on rolling. So it's a very basic week. We'll start on the mat here. Squat down, feet up on the mat. Okay, heads down, nice rounded back. She rolls forwards, no hands, and stands up. Stand up and finish. Very good, then she can do it on the floor. Good, nice tight shape, roll forward. Do three in a row. It's important that you do these connected to work on rotation and finish. Good, come back down. Okay, with your uh, basic levels, you'll start backward roll. Sit down. And we'll start just arms forward like this. Um, and we'll start with, bent, actually, bent elbows for level one. Bent elbows, and she'll just roll over and try to land her feet on the floor. Good, just like that. Very nice. And finish. Good. Um, bend elbows again. Three in a row. Go ahead. Go one, two, and three. Finish. Good. Then she comes back up to the mat. Level twos and three should be shooting more towards straight elbows. Okay, so her arms are, uh, let's start on the mat. Yep, and her arms are trying to open up as she goes backwards. Okay, nice tight elbows. Hands turned in. Yep, and backward roll to top. Good. You can start on the mat and roll off the mat and try to do three in a row. Go ahead. Elbows are locked. Two and three. Up. Good. Okay, then we come back over to the mat. Everything that we're doing forward, we want to do a backward variation as well. So she's going to do handstand forward rolls now. Hands go on the floor. Pick up your handstand. Nice tight body line. Then she stretches her toes long, push out, and roll. Stand up. And you want to do no hands on the stand up here. Level two and three should be doing this on the floor. Up. Go ahead. Try to hold that handstand and roll. Very nice. Good. I like the way she holds the handstand. Then over here. Depending on the height of the child, you're going to either start standing on the mat or on the floor, and we're going to do a back roll a push-up shape. She opens up those shoulders and rolls back to a push-up shape. Good. And another option, she can stand up here and go to a pike position. Let's go to a pike position. Pike your toes down. Very good. Okay, this is vault this week. This is just basic vault stuff. Um, nothing major this week, just nice and easy to make to, to um, uh, perfect basics and stuff like that. So you're going to start with hurdles. You're going to line up your whole class on the yellow right here. And they're going to hold their good foot up in front. Arms are down. Tight elbows. And they're going to circle backwards. Hit the tramp with their arms down and rebound up. Good. Turn around. Go again. Circle your arms. Down and up. Good. Then we're going to um, break into stations. She'll start at the end of the double track. On each of the green arrows, she's going to do an arm circle hurdle. So she circles, punch up, and then again on the next one, and all the way down the tunnel track. Good. Good. Then she's going to come down to the end. And each week we're going to have a bin with all the props that you'll need for that event. So there'll be bins like this, and this will be everything you need for that event that week. Station two is she's going to do a push-up shake. Also, since we're working the shaking, we're going to work a nice round back here. Hips flat, and she's going to do running legs. Ten times, and she only counts one leg. 
and she's gonna go over in front of the pit right here, and she's gonna um, have her arms ready, and, like running ready. Yep. And she's gonna kick the pit for fast feet. Good. Good. Then she's gonna come over to these pink weights right here and do ten fast mini arms. Trying to keep shoulders still. Shoulders. Stop for a second. Keep a perfect rectangle here. Hip bones to shoulders, and no twisting shoulders like this once you run. Okay. Good, nice 90 degree bent elbows. Put those down. Then she's gonna come here. She's gonna start with her bad foot pointed in front on the mat. She's gonna step on her bad foot, swing her good foot up to hurdle, and bounce up to the blue box. Good, and you can do this for every level. Okay, then she's gonna start here, and run and just do a straight jump up to the new pit that we have here. Okay, go ahead. And you can always work stick position, stick position, face the wall. Stick and finish. Good, and that's about this week. This week on bars, uh, we're kind of starting over and going back to basics. The first thing we're gonna do, every level should be doing this push-up shake, okay? Hands on the parallettes to uh, work on the shaping for the bar. You wanna have a nice, strong shoulders here. Shoulders kind of over their hands like this. Okay, you can do pointed to flex feet like that or pointed toes for more advanced. You want to have tight butts. You should not be able to press them down. Okay? For level twos and threes from this position, they can work a shoot group. Mm -hmm. Go back through. Um, every level, if you want to mix it up a little bit, can do shoulder touches. Very good. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and go to the bar. And start hanging under the bar. The bar should be, sit up. Sit up. The bar should be close to their shoulder level, then you will be able to do all of this stuff without having to move the bar. They're going to hang out of the bar. Okay, and we're going to start with the bent knee um, uh, crisscross applesauce hold. Okay, they're going to do like a little crisscross their legs and just hold their feet up. That's the easiest variation of this. Then they can try legs out straight. Start right here so their hips are straight under the bar, and then they're going to just pick their feet up. Okay, if that's easy, super advanced is elbowed up at the bar, no feet hooking on the bar. So hook your feet. I don't want to see them holding their feet like this. You want straight, pointed toes, hold that way, okay? And then um, the, we're doing some leg lifts also. So the first easiest way to do this, tuck your knees up, straighten them and tuck, tuck the bar. Tuck them up. And we're gonna try not to slam feet down. Um, step two, straight legs up to the bar. Good. And always trying to encourage tight legs, pointed toes, straight knees, feet together. All right, then she's gonna stand up. And we're going to do jump up. She's going to start with her arms bent, so you're getting a little bit of dip action. She's going to push up on the bar, jump and straighten her arms. Good. Hop down. Um, for a different different purpose, you can go straight elbows, jump up, and pull down. Trying to keep those elbows straight. From there, she can shrug her shoulders up and down. Good. With her hips flat, keeping those feet behind the bar. Yep. Then she can do belly resting on the bar first, if that's hard touching her shoulders. And you want to try to do this with straight arms. So that's easy. She pushes up. No leotard on the bar. Touch your shoulders. Mm -hmm. Then she can do walking sideways. This is the advanced version. And she'll show you the basic. Kind of relax the shoulders and just move those hands across the bar. Yep. Try to push your belly up off the bar. Push and then back, back down to move your hands. Very good. Okay, hop down. And then we're going to do um, some basic casting. Hop up on the bar. Yes. Um, you're gonna stand and kind of help them with this. We'll try casting first, just casting by itself. Go ahead, one cast and stop. One cast, then you can try uh, five, three to five in a row. One, two, three. Helping them lean over the bar and keep their face over the bar is important. Um, we're also gonna talk about shifting this week. So we're gonna start with belly rolls forward. They're gonna fall forwards, shift their hands so they re-grab the bar, then they're gonna come up like a pullover. Okay, they can do that assisted first, then by themselves, shifting backwards and shifting up to pull up. But in trying not to have them from upside down, go this way, keep their hands under the bar. You don't want to have this. Okay, you want them to shift early as they come up. All right, then the level twos and threes, hop down, can go hands backwards on the bar, reverse grip, and hop up to the bar. Good, that's for shifting on mill circles. Um, one last thing, the front, front support system, uh, front support um, position, they can start with their hands forward and go backwards, backwards, forward, forward with their hands. Backward, backward, forward, forward. 
Very good, that's for level two. All right, this is week one, basics on beam. We're gonna start with mounting and getting up on the beam. This is level one, mounting the beam. She's gonna jump up, take a leg over, and she's just gonna start with baby swings. Swing your legs, okay? Then she'll stop, put her feet behind her up on the beam, and then hop to feet together, arms in a crown, and stand. Okay, hop down, we'll show you level two. It's the same, jump up and take a leg over. Now she's gonna try to swing to a push-up position. Swing up to a push-up, up to a push-up. Feet on the beam, jump to a tuck. Arms in crown, and stand. Okay, hop down. Now this is level three. You have the option to either go jump and kick over like you did for level two, or you can try to move forward to the level four mount. Cause you're gonna swing your leg over. Okay, they're gonna swing their good leg over the beam. Then you can stick with the swing to push up shape, or you can try to go swing up and tuck in right away in one motion. Okay. <laughs> good crown and stand. Okay, relax. Before you start your complex on beam, you're going to do a Simon Says game with arm position. So she's going to face the free square area or whichever way you decide. Okay, it will go. Um, here are the arm positions you're going to do. You're going to do Simon Says with them. Um, get in the releve position, please. The level twos and threes should be in releve. Level one, flat foot. She'll do crown. Tall arms, yep, nice and tall like that. Nice fingers, too. She'll do oblique, which is a little like a high V position. She'll do side middle, which is down to a T. She'll do forward crown. And then um, down. And straight up. Locked elbows, that's for handstand. Okay, so you can mix them up, get them a little crazy with that. Okay, then we'll do a little complex. We'll go to the end of her beam. We'll go with arm side middle. You want to constantly be poking and pointing to make sure their legs are tight and straight, fingers are tight, and she'll go arm walking forward. Okay, um, always at the end of the beam. Put your arms in the ground. Okay, even if it's just a pivot to a quarter turn, she's going to quarter turn to me. And we're going to go arms out to the side and sideways walking. If they cannot handle releve walking, you do flat feet. Okay? Perfect. You want to go down one way, come back the other way so that you're using the right foot in front and the left foot in front. Go with that. Yep. Okay. Then when you finish sideways walking, she's going to be facing to the side. She goes in crown and she pivots. Always do a pivot turn at the end of the beat. Okay? Then she goes backwards. We're not switching up. Legs are straight again, belly sucked in. Very good. And if you need to go flat feet on that, that's fine too. Um, then you're going to go ahead uh, and continue some of your complex. So you can put your arms out that way. Arms out, flat feet first, and try kicking. Okay, maybe put your hand out, kick my hand. And kick. And they're relevant for your more advanced kids. Then, as always, she'll pivot turn at the end and do a little backwards kicking now. Flat feet first. Mm -hmm. And then she can go to releve. Good. All right, come to the middle of the beat. And now you can have stick contest. So she's going to practice her sticking position. She's just going to do a straight jump first. She's going to jump up, arms to her ears, and they finish front middle. Now her knees should be over her toes, her butt tucked under and tight, and stomach pulled in. And then she finishes crown. Good. Up, up again. You want to have them keep their chest up on the landing and not reaching for the floor ever. Good. Okay. And finish. Very good. Um, you can do tuck jumps, straddle jumps for level threes maybe. More advanced, a jump half turn. Try to jump half turn. It's a little harder, so be careful with this one. There you go. Very good. And finish. Always working this nice finished position. And that's being week one.